Hey all, Binks here. There have been rumors a lot recently that Cerebro 5 was pretty good again. We had things like Captain Marvel, Spider-Man that got brought into the five cost slot. And I really just always said, hey, Doom's gone. We don't have the five power Doom bots anymore. And that was really the strongest part of the deck. But lo and behold, with the most recent OTA, Doom is back on the menu for Cerebro 5. And I have one of the strongest decks I've ever played on stream. It's had a 76% win rate. This is Wave C5. The goal of this deck is to just get as many five power cards out there. And then ideally we get Cerebro down on either turn three or turn four. On turn five, we play Wave with a two drop into Doom on six. A couple very interesting things you might not necessarily expect in here is the Forge Brood combo. Some people have been trying this. I think Forge Brood into Absman, it's just an absolutely lights out combo, especially in something like C5 where you can get 21 power per lane if you get Forge Brood into Absorbing Man. We even have the Shavas in here, which we will never play because it's a nine power card. Well, I won't say never play, but very often you're not going to play the Shavas. Uh, and it's just going to give you more consistency into getting that Forge Brood Absman. Sometimes you don't even need the Cerebro, that just wins the game by itself. Uh, the Wave was the real superstar here. There were so, so many games that it looked like I had nothing going on and then you just slam down wave on turn five and then your opponent just has nothing to do. Uh, or there's even some really cool lines of playing wave on four, abs man on five. If your opponent is trying to, to play all these different cards, you know, they're playing like a kitty deck, just shut them down, play wave, play abs man, sit there, stare at him and be like, what are you gonna do? You're only gonna play one card per turn. And we had someone play like a 28 power kitty and just kept getting it bigger and was never able to, to finish out the game. Um, this deck is a monster. The wave also brings up some really cool other lines. For instance, you can go Cerebro on three. Uh, you can go then uh, wave on four, Dr. Doom on five, Absman the Dr. Doom for a, another Dr. Doom trigger. And you can also sneak in a Medusa or a Silk on that final turn. Uh, this deck, like I said, 76% win rate. I was absolutely trouncing people. I think I got over one cube per game. It was like 1.1 cubes per game. This deck is a real real thing uh now it did lose captain marvel i think if captain marvel was still around this might be like one of the best decks in marvel snap uh, but this cerebro 5 wave deck is an absolute killer you'll see in the highlights below just how effective it can be i hope that you enjoy it as always if you're enjoying this content make sure you hit the like button check down below make sure you subscribe we'll catch you live at twitch.tv slash binks underscore plays enjoy you peace do some a little funky, a little weird, a little weird and wild with it. You ever get a, weird, a little weird and wild with the chat? Any weird and wild with itters? Any weird and wild with itters in chat? Speak now, forever hold your peace. Uh, we have to be very nice here. We will probably put them in, in trouble. I wanted that Medusa, so it's kind of rude, honestly. Hawk. Can't play that left, mister. Probably got some Silver Samurai shenanigans going on. Wave's incredibly annoying for them. We snap here. They often play Silver Samurai, but then we... Are we still just fine? They often just play Silver Samurai, which sucks, kind of. Maybe they don't want to because they want the cards in their hand. I'm expecting Silver Samurai here and discarding our Doom, which feels bad. They might not be expecting Wave though. Wave is very annoying. No samurai, very nice. It's all about if they can beat us right. 
We have priority too, so they can't bump the silk. How about if they can beat us right? Uh, they can get 13 with a single card. I can't imagine their deck can, right? They already expended their Darkhawk. Uh, their Darkhawk is the card that can do that. Maybe they think that because they can bounce the silk, we're fine, but they don't realize that we have Doom to fill. Uh, if they had taken priority there, we were in a lot of trouble. But uh, I think we're getting eight here. I think that they're, I, I don't think they have a, a card that could beat 13. I'd be very shocked if they did. They, they probably just think that they can bump the silk. <laughs> that is just about as close as you can get, but, uh... <laughs> Victory. You're actually a piece? I can't play Medusa now? God damn it. Um... Okay, we're not a Cerebro deck. No longer a Cerebro deck, that's fine. Uh, we're just not a Cerebro deck anymore, and that's okay. We have Double Doom, it's very good. It is something that I've really uh, liked about playing this deck. I think it's hard to deal with sometimes and hard to rationalize properly. But you have to figure out when you're a, when you're a Cerebro deck and when you're not. And if you do so, you can do some really good things. Uh, it's a lot of rocks in my deck, but I have everything I need to win, which is good. Oh. Pretty good. Let's wait a little bit and snap. And before Shang Chi, I mean, they could, but it might be their whole turn, right? Uh, we can just doom afterwards. Scum snap a little bit. Not, not full sum snap, but slight skin snap. Let's do this in a double doom. Very hard for our opponent to beat. Darkhawk left. It's not enough. They're not, it's still not ahead, right? Yeah, GG's. Look at that. I really think the wave stuff is very important. Um, I, I play like a wave version of this. I think that the wave is incredibly important in this deck. Friendly neighborhood Spider -Man here. Friendly neighborhood Spider -Man. Oh, pull me back. Bring me back. <laughs> Bring me back, bud. Thank you. I didn't want to leave anyway. Thank you. <laughs> Nice. We have our wave. I want I want this to land middle if I can. We have to be scared of their legion, though, man. Get out of here, Silk. I know I brought you here. Wait, it doesn't move it? We'll go here for legion reasons. This is important for legion reasons. Oh, 
Oh yeah, because the... We're fundamentally adding 10 here in many ways. At the Marvel's a little scary. Captain Marvel is very scary. How do we beat Captain Marvel? I don't know if we can beat Captain Marvel chat. We just go here. So many cards that beat us if we go here. Chavez. Very hard to win. They can play 10 or more. Uh, I think this still beats Legion mid. I think. They moved the Nightcrawler already. Might lose to Sean. At risk. Still win, no? Oh, still had to land middle. Silk land in middle, we lose there. Wow, well played by the opponent. Uh, they found a 50-50. It's really cool. Uh, this turning into nowhere is very scary. Turning into nowhere ruins everything that we're trying to do. So I could just Spider-Man right now. And then play... Like, Miles Brood, maybe? Miles Forge? depends because uh, we can't really rely on playing forge into brood because then if this turns into nowhere we have nowhere else to absorbing man and it just feels like bad and dumb we had to do it on new york i'm getting to it mr killer flow shut shut your damn mouth friendly neighborhood spider-man here okay double new york Very interesting. Here, here to like brood forge absorbing men. Maybe two drop. Actually, I love my position. I, I love uh, everything that's going on right now. I'm going to change it for the world. Jubilee. Bad Gento. Is that a rune? Not a rune, honestly. I was thinking there's a world where we wave. I think we just, just having the choice to Doctor Doom or Absman, depending on what we want to do, is very strong. Oh, they waved for us. Thank you. I also wanted to wave. I appreciate you. Wade do Vazvan? I have not, but it's not necessarily the point of the deck. I feel like I'm more inclined to Doom. I think if we do that, then we don't need extra cards here. I think 15 will be enough, right? I think we do want the full 28 left. We want to get ahead here. I 
tune. I have one of those as well. Peace. GG's. Thank you for the cubes. We can't go like one card. Hear me out. We go Cerebro, then we go Wave, then we go Absman. And then we, I don't know, we figure it out. <laughs> I don't really have a, I don't really have anything after that. But it's really annoying for them, right? We have Forge Brood? Forge Kitty. It's like, in my mind, it's like Wave. <laughs> Wave, Absman, question mark, question mark, question mark, win. Is this going to work? If they play the kitty again, it's simply just, <laughs> will simply just work. If they get ahead right, we're probably in trouble. Nice. Let's go. <laughs> um, what do we lose to here? Doom? Doom doesn't even beat us. Wait, Doom will beat us if we make this play. Very scary. If they would have played Doom and we would have made that play, we would have uh, thrown very hard. Which which one do we like best? I guess we don't play the Silk. Spider-Man or Polaris? They both kind of do the same thing. It's a very big kitty. Don't get me wrong. It's a very big kitty, Adele. Yo, that was such a cool line. I hope they can never beat us right. It'd be a real downer if they were able to, to find a way to beat us right, huh? Maybe pull their collector right and then kill it as a joke. It'd be funny. Friendly neighborhood Spider -Man here. What are they doing over here? Oh, look at that! The perfect line to get this to three and have Spider-Man kill them all. <laughs> <laughs> the Maria Hill was so good. The Maria Hill did uh, did everything that we needed. That was wonderful. Wonderful work, Maria Hill. No notes. No notes at all. <laughs> I think we just go Spider-Man here. Maybe Rock has defense. Miles with a Rock has defense for Warrior Falls. Look at all their kitties. Their hand is full. They didn't draw anything. Spoopy. Double space. I think we just wave, uh, wave into Cerebro. Hmm. This is safer. Because if we played both middle and then they bounced the Silk back mid, we'd be missing out on double Cerebro. Uh, which I think we want to do. They could play a big card right and uh, screw us here, though. Wave and Warriors. Yeah, yeah, Wave and Warriors. Good call. Good call. Always Wave and Warriors. Very smart. Very smart. Very smart. I love waving against bounce decks. It's very satisfying. No! Unlucky.
Because they say, Chet, win all three lanes profit. They might think that playing one more card will win them Warrior Falls. Uh, but my cards will be bigger and I'll actually kill their bishop. I see. I see. Anthem Marvel still wins games? Indubitably. The card's still quite good. I don't think it's unplayably bad, but it just depends on where the meta ends up because not being able to beat a Doombot is pretty scary. The, the fact that the Doombots and the Captain Marvel swapped, I think is pretty relevant. Pretty darn relevant, if you ask me. Keep drawing rocks, that's fine. Can't play these rocks left, though. Top deck the best curve in Marvel Slam? Another rock. <laughs> Ready? Um. <laughs> Slot you over there. I guess for Absvan reasons, swap. Might as well just start getting the power out there in case we don't have the ability to later. Over here, armor, maybe forge, I don't know. Whichever one of use. This brood? Marble. Oh. You know what they say, chat. You know what it is they say. Uh, top deck is always Chavez. It's nice to fight this Marvel as much as we can. Maybe we get a good card out of their hand. Okay. That card does do stuff. It's tough. Tough, tough, tough. I wonder if they throw middle here. I'm thinking Chavez mid too. I think they might stature middle. No, but why would they invest anything middle? I kind of want to do this. Oh, wait, isn't this just good? How are they beating 15 right? I think left is better. They can get like 11 middle they could win. I like left. Oh, my rocks. It's not 11. The uh, Captain Marvel can't move. Let's go. Can't play the Broods left. We have to remember that. Be hard sometimes. Don't Polaris the Raptors left either. Boy lock. Okay, they're going negative. We have the wave which helps us beat negative, which is very nice. The wave is a superstar against negative. I think we snap Cerebro now. Wait. Cerebro now. Snap. Medusa middle wave left. I have no idea how they beat that. I don't think they can beat us in Asgard too. There's no way they beat 27. We'll get... 16 middle, a billion here, should be enough left. We just have to make sure we play the Doom left to not mess up Washington, D.C. We're fine. Uh, should we snap now? Oh, snap. So stupid a snap against Psylocke, Mr. Negative, but we got the sauce. 
It's so weird to snap against this, but but we got the sauce, chat. We got the sauce. We got the sauce to beat it. We have the we have the technology. It's so hard for them to beat. Oh, they are sauce, chat. We gave him the sauce. Oh, look at all their cards, chat. Chat, they have a handful of cards. They have so many cards that do so much. And it's all for naught. <laughs> and it's all for nothing. Um, damn, there's nothing they can do, right? <laughs> Dude, that hurts so bad. I've been on the losing side of this play. Dude, so confident. Psylocke, negative, Jane Foster. Oh, baby, we're getting them. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, horrifying. But uh, we can try and fill this out. Like, Brood Rights. Problem's gonna be at the Silklands, right? Then, we're, then, we're, then we run into some issues. Agent. They can't Dinosaur on 5, which is very good for us and very bad for them. They got a Medusa. Or 7 power Medusa. Very scary. Uh, we don't... I don't think it's a Cerebro game, because we're gonna wave next turn, right? Most likely. We just do this... This maybe in a wave Medusa. Now oh, we can just wave into Doom. I feel pretty confident. Dream Dimension sucks ass for them. <laughs> Dream Dimension freaking sucks. Big Medusa is big. Land back middle would be ideal. Doesn't matter all that much, but it's kind of kind of doesn't matter. Depends on where they push power this turn. We could run into some issues, but also if they get ahead, then maybe they bounce our silk for our doom. I don't know. It's weird. They very often land this middle, which is great for us. Uh, they got a random card because of the White Queen interaction. Uh, they have Pryo, which is a little scary. They do have Pryo, which is a bit scary. They could have also gotten my Doom, which is also kind of scary. They got my Doom and they play it. We just lose. But it's a 1 in 4 that they got my Doom. Play around the one and four. So one and four, they got my doom because of the wave interaction. Yo, Jeff Jones, six hundred biddies. Mm, biddies, so good. They might have their own doom too. But also consider cerebroing. Seems bad though. Nice. Nice. Silk does not move first, no. The... Ouch. Scorpion solos our deck, unfortunately. Scorpion does kind of solo our deck in many ways. But uh, we can fight our way through this. We can fight our way through this. 
Scorpion pretty much just wins on the spot. <laughs> can you can you chill? Our opponent, please chill. Ooh, if they don't get the loot cage down. Oh, they played it on on here. Uh, Doom, I mean, Doom finisher is still just pretty good, right? Uh, I guess maybe not. Uh, how do I win? If I go here, I get six. And I only get four more, it's not going to be enough. Son of a bitch. <laughs> we end up going Shabbos, right? Wait, okay. Hold up. Look at this. Boom, boom. We win left, we wave them, and then we Shabbos right. And we get a forge Shabbos right, and they'll never expect it. Peace. Power brood pog. <sighs> Alright, opponent knows I only have one card to play. Obviously, if I was only gonna play one card, I would try and win right because it's closest, so I go middle. Just that simple. <sighs> it's not a coin flip if you can get in your opponent's head, chat. Not a coin flip if you can get in your opponent's head. Do we do early? We can maybe do early wave, but I think against a kitty deck, we want to wave on five. Uh, get over here, by the way. Or we could Cerebro wave Doom Abs, man. But um, I feel like that's wrong. I feel like we say, hey, Angela, get over here. I'm going to kill you. Peace. Cerebral Right is so risky. Cerebral Right is insanely risky. That's just abs, and then four... No, wait, then we can't wave. Maybe it's not a Cerebro game? Maybe we just win the game without Cerebro? Maybe we don't need Cerebro? But what do we do, what do, we do here? Just abs, man? And a forge... Forge wave? And a doom? Abs left? It's very scary to abs left. They can just play their kitty and eat it. Let's just play the Cerebro. Oh, come on. Play your kitty, you piece. Ah! That's big! I thought we could be cheeky. Forge wave is doesn't really work. Maybe we don't even need the Cerebro buff? I don't I don't know, dude. You can only play one card. I can only play one card, chat. I can only play one card. <laughs> I think we got him. I think we got him. 
I think we got him, right? Like, how did he beat this? Oh my god, how are we winning all these games, bro? How do they how do they beat this? We can, we eat their shuri? This is so frustrating to play against, bro. <laughs> they had a 28 power kitty, dude. They're <laughs> this is so mean. Chat. If you're interested in winning a season pass. Um, we are hosting a tournament on our Discord server. That is going to be this Sunday. You have to join the Discord, click the Nux, and then talk with Rainbow Pit, uh, who is a cool member of the community. After you have talked to Rainbow Pit, they will sign you up. And the top eight, whoever makes top eight in the tournament gets a free season pass code, courtesy of me, courtesy of Marvel Snap. So if you're interested in winning, like you'll you'll see a lot of giveaways because this is the first time that they're this is the first time that they're doing this, uh, but they're doing for the for the first time ever they're doing very large uh, giveaways. So if that's something that intrigues you, uh, definitely go and check this out. Chat, I want to do a really stupid line here. I want to pass. No, I don't. I change my mind immediately. Uh, we just go forge into Absorbing Man like middle. Or maybe even go Absorbing Man left and just make a giant card. And then just play Silk Wave as a joke. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But uh, message message Rainbow Pit on Discord. Maybe we just make the biggest card ever left. Or just do this into Miles Wave. Yeah, this into Miles Wave is fine. If they get the biggest card ever, they could just uh, Shang-Chi, which feels bad. Storm mid is five. Oh, we don't have to. This is hard for them to beat too, right? All right, chat. I, are we doing it again? Are we are we eating our opponent's lunch yet again? We will see. Uh, we're already snapped up, right? Yeah, we had the best curve in Marvel Snap. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. You're against Chavez in this deck? Well, so here's the thing, right? You don't play all of your cards. This deck doesn't need Cerebro. I, I can't stress this enough. I feel like so many games I've won, I, Cerebro's not on the board, right? More often than not, I, I'm not winning with Cerebro. I don't need Cerebro on six, man. I, I Chavez sometimes is just a fine play after the wave. As you've seen many times, the Chavez is just totally fine. So I personally think, and like, let's say you're playing Cerebro three, Cerebro two, no shot you can run a Chavez in that. No way, in my opinion. Uh, however, in a deck like this, where we don't really need the Cerebro, we just want to get to our curve of like Forge, Brood, Absman type stuff. I think that I think it does so, so well. I think it's very important. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Silsenberger. Actually, I literally mentioned right afterwards. I said I wish I would have nuxed you because you were being very cool. Uh, so I apologize for not nuxing you. Okay. Forge Brood right is just, just devastating, right? Got a lot of Draxes in chat. I mean, I think that the Chavez thing is interesting, right? But, like, this deck isn't a combo deck. This deck is a deck that wants to have a clear idea of what's going to happen by turn 5. Win. IMO. Which one do I target here? We're in a great spot, though. So we just go Absman middle afterwards and then Doom. Or if we call out right where they're going to go. The scary thing is Juggernaut. So let's just try and avoid potential Juggernaut left. Oh, it's a Juggernaut, right? Go left. Please go left. Please go left. Oh, let's go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you.
doing this or am I doing wave? Point slam eight. What are they gonna do? Doom back? I like points. I like this better. I think I like this better than um, Abs Man. I think the wave has just been so good. I mean, they're probably Surfer, right? This means Surfer to me. Try Magento middle. Doesn't work, my dude. So it's novel. It's cute. That does not work. Jeez. Very cool game. Very weird. I don't know what my opponent's doing. I kind of dig it though. I kind of dig it.